Welcome back to Omics Logic, where we simplify bioinformatics and help make omics data analysis logical. In this short video, we will discuss genomics. What is genomic data? How is it organized, analyzed, and interpreted to be such a powerful resource in the hands of clinicians, researchers, and entrepreneurs that are reading the DNA code to battle cancer, fight off infectious diseases, and even solve crimes? Let's start by reviewing some of the fundamentals of genomics. Just like a book, the DNA code is organized. Letters form sentences, sentences form paragraphs, paragraphs are organized into chapters. Knowing how to read this code can help us decipher the full story about who we are and look into our history, understanding how we are connected to other living things around us, what makes us who we are, and how can we explain some of the differences as well as diseases that we experience. DNA contains instructions for various functions a cell must perform to grow and maintain life. Therefore, DNA contains both actively needed recipes and all kinds of other instructions that need to be stored but not necessarily used all the time. Today, there are several competing human gene databases with many thousands of differences among them. And although the number of protein coding genes has gradually converged, the number of other gene types has exploded. The omics technologies are used to explore the roles, relationships, and actions of the various types of molecules that make up the cell of an organism. Together, these are referred to as systems biology. Many types of omics data can be generated using various technologies. One of them is called next generation sequencing or high throughput sequencing. The data from high throughput sequencing can be used to characterize detailed genomic variants, epigenomic regulation, as well as gene and isoform expression. In this part, we are going to be talking about genomics. Genomics refers to the structure, function, evolution, and the sequence of DNA. A specific type of variation can lead to harmful results. For example, a change in function that is harmful. This is called a mutation. Most single nucleotide changes are found outside of the coding regions. So these are non-coding variants and have no impact on the biological function of a protein or called silent, though they may affect gene expression or splicing. However, variants found within the coding region may code for functional changes in amino acid structure called missense or predict premature protein truncation, nonsense and thus may have a possible direct association with disease. One example of a non-synonymous mutation that is associated with a phenotype change but not disease is a mutation in the FGFS gene that causes extremely long hair, eyebrows, and eyelashes in people. Depending on the type of sequencing method, FASTQ files can be quite large, sometimes over several gigabytes in size per file. To analyze such raw data, many different tools for genomic data analysis are used. These include sequence alignment of reads and full sequences, analysis of relationships between sequences and their evolutionary divergence, measurement of gene expression, relationships between sequences and structures, as well as somatic and germline variant calling methods. The tBioInfo is an example of a big data platform developed for analysis and integration of such data. It can be used to perform all of these analyses and many others using an intuitive and user-friendly interface. One of the major objectives of genomics is linked to sequence alignment. Sequence alignment can refer to two types of alignment. To learn more about these analysis methods and their applications in various project examples, you can complete the genomics core series. This series will include a more expanded overview of key concepts, principles, and examples of genomic data analysis.